students now we are going to discuss about the uses of microbes in pharmaceutical industry or into the different other industries right since it is there into the unit one fifth topic of fifth chapter the use of microbes in industry right so let's start with the video that uh, how we are going to cover the microbes the microbial biotechnology actually it is known as nothing but microbial biotechnology so what it is microbial biotechnology we are using the microorganism for the different types of tactics to produce the different types of products it may be drug product it may be food products so microbial technology refers to the use of microbes or microorganism what for to obtain a product or a service of economic value or commercial purpose or marketing purpose that's what it is also called as a fermentation because whatever the techniques or techniques uh, we are using with the microorganism that is nothing but fermentation only whether it is for the uh, antibiotic production or it is for the any bakery products or wine cheese yogurt or anything right any food or drug right so let's start with this the property of useful industrial microorganism right whatever the microorganism what we are using that what should be the property it is supposed to have the microbes or bacteria what we are using the so first of all the, it produce spore or can be easily inoculated right it has to be uh, in the in the introduction or the injection of the microorganism into the different uh, uh, pro production that has to be easily and uh, they should have the produce they, they can replicate they can reproduce or uh, they can uh, the go for the production grows rapidly on a large scale in inexpensive medium right so that's what uh, the rapid growth supposed to be there with the microorganism uh, they produce desired product quickly that has to be there that property has to be there with the microorganism should not be pathogenic the, at the same time whenever they will they are involved into the production they should not be pathogenic then uh, enable in genetic manipulation that also has to be there so these are the different industrial products when we talk about the production with microorganism these all the things can be produced into the different industries like uh, brewage the, all the soft drinks antibiotics penicillin organic acid amino acids enzymes vitamins organic solvents single cell protein that is also known as C, uh, SCP, steroids, vaccines, pharmaceutical drugs and uh, dairy products. So let's uh, discuss one by one how what are the type of microbes we are using with these products right. So these are the brewage all of you know that all the soft drinks, hard drinks, wines, beers and all those things it comes under this. So microbes especially, especially yeast have been used from the time immor uh, the immemorial for the production of brewage right so yeast it is being used for the brewage like wine beer whiskey brandy or rum okay for this purpose yeast the 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 saccharomyces cerevisia is used for fermenting malted cereals and fruit juice to produce ethanol or alcohol these are the different example of bacteria like uh, acetobacter uh, cerevisia then lactobacillus bucheri then actobacillus the hilgardi then lactobacillus concave so these are the example of bacteria which is being used into the production of wine in fungi also there are there uh, two example it has given like uh, cyber lindnera mraki um, and uh, pichia fermentans okay so these are the example uh, coming to the antibiotic antibiotic production second one uh, second uh, topic antibiotic produced by the microbes are regarded was one of the most significant discoveries into the 20th century yeah of course and uh, have made major contribution towards the welfare of human society in the field of antibiotic production many antibiotic produced by the microorganism predominantly by actinomycetes in the genus streptomycin for say for example tetracycline streptomycin actinomycin d these are the antibiotic available produced from the by filamentous fungi penicillin and the cephalosporin are the example of the antibiotic produced from microorganism so this is the list uh, antibiotics uh, the producer organism and the activity the site or mode of action right say for example penicillin so penicillin cranosonum this is the organism from where it is being produced the gram positive bacteria activity it is going to show by the cell wall synthesis so these are the different example you can uh, go through right so which uh, we are using for the antibiotic antibiotic production of different microbes microbes are also used into the commercial and industrial production of certain organic acids right third point that is the uh, organic acid also can be produced like uh, uh, these compounds can be produced directly from glucose 
like uh, gluconic acid or formed at the end products form pyruvate pyruvate or ethanol example of acid producing microorganism are aspergillus niger it is one of the fungus or fungi of uh, citric acid so in case from, from aspergillus niger we can produce citric acid then acetobacter acute uh, it is also one of the bacteria of acetic acid right so from acetic acid uh, from acetobacter we can get the acetic acid then lactobacillus it is also bacteria lactic acid and many other examples we can see right coming to the here organic acid producing bacteria these are the different examples like butyric acid salmonella enteritis formic acid salmonella formic pepnic and other the, the campobacter acetic acid it is there buffered propionic acid e coli we are using butyric acid also we e coli can be used organic acid mixer coliforms and so many examples it is there here also you can see organic acid produced the name of the microorganism for citric acid aspergillus niger lactic acid lactobacillus this thing we have discussed like amino acid so next amino acid also can be produced by the microorganism amino acid such as lysine and glutamic acid are used into the food industry as a nutritional supplements in bread products as a flavor or uh, enhancing compounds such as the monosodium glutamate right msg so amino acids are generally synthesized in the primary metabolites by microorganism yeah of course then, then only we are going to use the microorganism however when the rate of and the amount of the synthesis in some amino acid exceeds the cells needs to protein synthesis need for the protein synthesis and then cell excrete them into the surrounding medium and uh, that can be used for the production right so this is very amino acid producing bacteria example it's very very important whenever we are discussing such thing l uh, alanine uh, that uh, that the corny cornic bacterium dismutant e coli pseudomonas uh, these are the for l arginine we are using the the serratia the mersensis bacillus subtilis l aspartic acids we are using e coli and so on enzymes also can be produced by microorganisms right so let's discuss many microbes synthesize and excrete large quantity of enzyme into the surrounding medium so those microbes we need to identify and we can use them for the whenever enzyme uh, it is required in the production using this feature of these tiny organism or small organism many enzymes have been produced commercially into the production this includes like amylase cellulose cellulase protease lipase pectinase streptokinase and many other enzymes can be produced by microorganism during the production enzymes are extensively used into the food processing and preservation washing powders leather industry paper industry and uh, scientific research also right so that uh, you need to remember these things like example here lipase and protease that uh, serratia bacillus species can be used for protease pro protease production xanthomonas candida Humicola can be used then for lipase enzyme pseudomonas can be used the amylase the aeromonas the hydrophilia altromonas hello plant things can be used right vitamins also the another uh, most important things vitamins are the some organic compounds which are capable for performing many life sustaining functions inside our body yes this is the feature of vitamin these compounds cannot be synthesized by human remember thing therefore they have to be supplied in some uh, small amount into the diet so this is the feature of vitamins microbes are capable of synthesizing the vitamins and hence they can be successfully used for the commercial production of many other vitamins say for example thiamine riboflavin pyridoxin folic acid pentothenic acids uh, then uh, biotin vitamin b12 ascorbic acid beta carotene pro vitamin a also it is known as then uh, the ergosterol that is the pro vitamin d so this can be produced by the microorganism that's you need to know uh, vitamin b12 produced by the propionobacterium then uh, freoandrensi right pseudomonas uh, the dentrifricans bacillus uh, the megatherium and streptomycin olivaceous p the shermany etc riboflavin can be produced by the uh, ashbea goshpi and uh, the eremothicum ashbei then clostridium bitilcum okay then uh, uh, myco candida riboflavin then candida flareri these are the things beta carotenoids can be produced by pro vitamin produced by the blankesia tripospora psychomosis then blankesianus and uh, conephora cucurbitarum okay so these are the different example 
नेक्स्ट ऑर्गेनिक एसिड आल्सो कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ऑर्गेनिक एसिड सच एस इथेनॉल एसीटोन बिटेनॉल ग्लिसरॉल सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केमिकल दैट आर वाइडली यूज्ड इनटू द पेट्रोकेमिकल इंडस्ट्रीज दीस केमिकल्स कैन बी कमर्शियली प्रोड्यूस बाय यूजिंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड लो कॉस्ट रॉ मटेरियल लाइक वुड सेलुलोज एंड स्टार्च कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर एग्जांपल ईस्ट द द सेकेरोमाइसिस द सिरिवेसिया इट इज यूज्ड फॉर द कमर्शियल प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इथेनॉल these are the different examples acetic acid acetobacter can be used citric acid aspergillus niger formic acid rhizopium ne, uh, negricans uh, gluconic acid aspergillus niger then itoconic acid aspergillus uh, teretius koji acid aspergillus flavus acetic acid sorry lactic acid lactobacillus so these are the examples single cell protein also can be single cell protein it can serve as a alternate source of energy when a large portion of the world is suffering from the hunger and malnutrition single cell protein are microbial cell that are rich in protein content and can be used for the protein supplement for humans and animals those who are suffering from the protein deficiency it's a very great thing actually right so microbes like spirulina can be grown easily on materials like waste water from the potato processing plant and uh, straw molasses animal manure and many sewage to produce large quantity of uh, quantities and can serve the food rich into the protein mineral and fat carbohydrate and the vitamin those who are suffering from uh, malnutrition and hunger in different countries right so this is very great important that can be done by the microorganism say for example fungi yeast algae एलजी बैक्टीरिया लाइक एसपर्जी लस ह्यूमन सो दिस दीज आर द डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स कैन बी यूज स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो कैन बी प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम दीज आर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ग्रुप ऑफ केमिकल विच आर यूज इन एंटी एंटी इन्फ्लेमेटरी ड्रग्स एंड द हार्मोन सच एज एस्ट्रोजेंस एंड प्रोजिस्ट्रॉन विच आर ऑल्सो यूज इन ओवरऑल कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव सो स्टूडेंट्स आर वाइडली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन एनिमल्स प्लांट्स फंजाई लाइक ईस्ट बट प्रोड्यूसिंग स्टेरॉइड्स फ्रॉम एनिमल सोर्सेज और केमिकली सेंथिसाइजिंग देम इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट but what is the role micro organism can synthesize the steroids from the sterols and from related easily obtained compounds so most of mycobacterium uh, are used frequently for production of so these are the example here which can be used for the uh, uh, the fusarium monili form aspergillus fumigatus penicillium reastrici streptomyces rhizochromogenes bacillus थर्मोग्लूकोसाइडेसियस देन द कोल कोलकी बोलस लूनेटस बैसिलस मेगाटेरियम दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्ट्रॉइड प्रोड्यूसिंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम फार्मास्यूटिकल ड्रग्स मेनी फार्मास्यूटिकल ड्रग्स आर ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस बाई माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम लाइक सीफेलिस फॉर इन ए इट इज यूज इन टू द इम्यूनोसुप्रेजेंट एजेंट इन द ऑर्गेन ट्रांसप्लांट पेशेंट इन इन प्रोड्यूसड बाय द फंजस लाइक ट्राइकोडर्मा पॉलीस्पोरम so immunosuppression uh, cyclosporin a strains produced by the yeast monascus purpureus have been also commercialized as a blood cholesterol lowering agent it act many competitive inhibiting into the enzyme responsible for the synthesis of cholesterol so this examples you need to remember here to write dairy products also can be used so many dairy products uh, we are using different uh, uh, body call uh, microorganism like uh, the saccharomyces uh, cerevisiae streptococcus penicillium then uh, strep uh, lactobacillus and also on right so these are the different microorganism we are using into the different food and the drug industries that's the name of the microorganism we need to know and what product we are producing from that particular microorganism that is the important thank you all